today we talk about Matthew, also known as Levi. All his disciples have two names. He was a Galilean tax collector in Capernaum, highly educated and hated by the Romans and the Jews alike for his trade. He heard Jesus speak and that very day invited him to come to his house for a feast. At that time then, Jesus invited him to follow him and he did. Can you imagine the fear, the questions and the uncertainty of the other disciples? Had Jesus lost his mind by inviting this man to be a part of their group? But it is thought <clears throat> that it was Matthew who, had, who was the one who kept record of Jesus' sayings and the events that had happened. And then the Gospel of Matthew was written either by him or by one of his followers. After Jesus had ascended into heaven, Matthew travelled first to the Jews in Judea to preach and teach. And then he went on to other countries, including Ethiopia and Africa. Matthew died a martyr in 60 AD when he was staked to the ground and speared to death because he had questioned the morals of a king. Matthew used his God-given intelligence to make sure that records were kept so that stories of Jesus could be told centuries later. How do you record your faith story so that your family members can know who you were for future generations?